holiness. Holiness means God is holy. So holiness means to become like God. Okay, to become Christ-like. Who is Christ? He is peace, love, joy, patience, kindness, generosity, gentleness, okay, all those things. That's what it means to be holy, the fruits of that Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's the measure of holiness. Okay, it doesn't, it's not measured by the talents, the many talents a person has. One can be given 20 talents and they bury them. One can be given two and they trade with them. So one receives it ten times over banner, they don't produce any fruit. And the one who was given to is producing fruit. <clears throat> so that's what it is. So the fact that a person abounds in genuine charisms, working miracles, seeing visions, experiencing ecstasy, not from drugs, okay? <laughs> in the spirit, okay? Having the stigmata, okay? uttering genuine prophecy, speaking in tongues, etc., does not necessarily mean that he, 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 she is holier than another who may possess none of these gifts. Charisms are given primarily as an aid to ministry. One must not try to fake a charism to appear before others as holier and better. Some people do this. They fake charisms. And unfortunately, they teach the young to do the same. Whenever this happens, faking, it is not the work of the Holy Spirit. All the gifts of the Spirit are properly exercised in humility. Pride has no place in the realm of the Spirit. So charisms can facilitate growth in holiness, but they do not of themselves constitute holiness, nor are they required for holiness. Okay, let's take a short break and then we'll look at the primary gift of grace. Thank you. 